So basically, uh, uh, it should be like uh, technology should give the answer to this question. Like uh, uh, there are people they only speak about they start speaking the prices first and they go for the quality. Instead, if we speak well, first, this discuss the quality, discuss the technicality, finalize the product, and then speak the price. So we do exactly opposite to it, and that's why we are uh, in most cases we are facing the problem. So obviously quality, uh, like uh, I always uh, speak with uh, my team and uh, obviously my customers that how much you are paying based on that you will get the product. Like do you need Maruti or do you need Mercedes? So it depends on you whether you want to buy the Maruti or you want to buy the Mercedes. I am not here to sell uh, Maruti. I am not saying Maruti is inferior, but I am saying this is a safety point of view. Obviously, Mercedes is much, much more uh, safe than Maruti. So, if you want uh, the product to run for 25 years with all the safety norms, then obviously you go for the Mercedes. I want to add in uh, to this. Uh, we see the quality, we the main focus on the particular quality of product that is, that is fine. But in project, 70% of uh, the project depends upon the design and engineering at the very initial stage. If suppose everything you have considered, uh, uh, like you, you have taken the tier 1 module, you have taken the tier 1 uh, converter, and you compromise on either cable or structure. The entire system will get damaged. Either your inverter uh, will uh, get failed, or uh, your module will get failed. So the most important thing when it comes to uh, the project uh, execution and from the longevity of the project. So the quality is there definitely, and it is important for each and every component what we are using in the project. So at very initial stage, the design generally. Uh, Share comes out of uh, 100. If you talk about 70 percent of the share, whether your project will be uh, going for a 25 years life, that depends upon the design of that particular project. And then it comes to the quality of uh, product that you have uh, uh, taken for that project. And it is not limited to only the major items. Everything, uh, whatever you are taking in your project, should be quality oriented. Whether it's uh, cable, structure, module, inverter, or even the earthing system can uh, damage your plant. So, the quality aspects is every component of the building. So, uh, again, uh, there is a misrepresentation in the industry uh, from many people that, uh, yeah, this is a tier 1 brand, this is tier 2 brand. So, tier 1 not at all related to quality. That is the financial health of the, that particular company. And there are companies who are not tier 1, but they are much more financially uh, strong than tier 1 companies. And uh, basically that's why MNRI has to come out with uh, the notification that in India, BIS will be followed, not the tier 1. And tier 1 is only related to the finance and not at all related to quality. So I just wanted to share this with you. But when IEC was followed, then what was the use for getting BIS? Just uh, to make money? Yes. No, actually, sir, uh, this is. Uh, 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 I know this, the IEC, uh, BIS is following the IEC norms only. But the further step they are taking, they are limiting the uh, low quality products from outside India. That's why they have taken this measure. But the next step they are taking, which is further stringent, which is a ALM. In that, modules and cells must be embedded and they, were, uh, they, they are planning to do the audit at any point of time du during the year. So that will be the beneficial for the industry. I know what uh, uh, towards what, which point you are mentioning. I am also struggling with that because I am paying double. So, so I know that. All of you must have taken BIA. Yeah. Obviously. Without that, I cannot sell. <laughs> I am not allowed. So, 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 actually, the problem is that we don't go to the root of the problem. We just move around, right. round and round. No, but there we have no already represented. People yeah. have spent so much of money. Ultimately, from where you will get, you will increase the price of the product. Once the product was there, even I see, you know, plants which were set up in 2000. 
they are still working. Yeah, obviously. They are generating. So where is the issue? Because it is not required. No, but it's uh, all this that I was M M and B I S. All <coughs> the regulations government is putting just to put no, us. Sir, you know, see the thing is. Uh, obviously, if they work on the parameters of the certification, like IEC is based on the European standards. Yes. So, for Indian standards, you come up with the new system. Yes, then that is right. Yeah, but for the see, like in US, this technology to the whole world. Yeah. But why we should be ashamed of it? We should. We have adopted it. We should adopt it. Yeah, yeah but uh, no, no. But see, it, it make in India and all those things. There is no problem. You see, you are seeing the result. <laughs> See, uh, uh, I don't have the capacity, the cells are not being manufactured and we want to force it. that no, you put the panels with the in cells. Oh. Just to give benefit to one person or two person who can increase the price. DCR cell price now everybody has increased by 3 rupees, 325. So, so uh, government is coming up with the new policy also. Obviously, it is not uh, already uh, announced, so I cannot disclose that. Or I cannot discuss that, but yes, they are pushing for the cell manufacturing, not for the one or two manufacturers, but for the others also. And I think if that happens, then then this will be successful. Right. Yeah, that time should be given. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It is not a one-day job or three-month job or six-month job. Absolutely. It is five years planning. Right. So then, emerging technologies in solar, so half-cut cell, then 1500 volt inverters and storages. So, uh, I was uh, discussing uh, in the networking session that uh, to some of my customers that why don't you use uh, 1500 volt inverters. So, they, uh, they mentioned that uh, it is not currently easily available for all classes. So, what is your take on this? See, actually when we talk about 1000 volt and 1500 volt inverters, so when you talk about uh, rooftop inverters, so they are still uh, coming up with uh, thousand volt because the design is to that standard. Uh, even rooftop is still the DC voltage thousand volt. But when you talk about utility screen, the whole technology has shifted to fifteen hundred volt. For the past uh, one and a half two years, I would say the thousand volt system is optimal. So yeah, uh, because new technologies are emerging in. Uh, Utility scale is 1500 volt, then we are coming up with a 230 kilowatt because higher capacities are being required by the demand. See, inverter manufacturer works as per the demand that is uh, in the market, as per you know, all the developers and EPC players are looking after. So, as per their design, uh, we manufacture and uh, people are looking for a higher capacity in utility scale just to save the US cost. With a higher DC output voltage and a higher DC voltage. So, yeah, obviously, in, uh, even in the rooftop, some of our plant is using 1500 volt. Um, because we have supplied some of our, uh, some of our 125 kilowatt inverter to some, uh, some people. So, they have shifted. But you know, the trend is very slow. Mm -hmm. But is there availability of yes, 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 small yes. kilowatt inverters? No, not, not small. Actually, when I am not saying about the solar, no, but no, overall no, 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 no. Actually, uh, in 1500 volt, the capacity starts actually after 120 kilowatt, more than 100 kilowatt. Okay. Yeah. Below 100 kilowatt, you won't get any 1500 volt in the market. So, is there any anything uh, which is happening vendor uh, uh, on working on 1500 volt? Not right now, not right now, because uh, design is not certain to 1500 volt uh, in the uh, solar rooftop. So See, it is it depends on you. If you come up with the new product, and if uh, uh, if one can reduce the system cost, like you did in the uh, utility scale, then obviously people can accept it. See, actually, when you talk about inverters, so it it does not depend on us that what are we manufacturing. It depends on the developers and PC. If we if we come up with a product of our own based on our calculation. That this is best for everyone, and everyone rejects it. Then what are we supposed to do? It it has happened to so many of the manufacturer uh, inverter manufacturer. Some of the inverter manufacturers left Indian market just because of this, because they brought their own inverter, because they brought their own capacity based on their own calculation. Yeah, but it should be as per the Indian norms. Right? Yes, Indian norms. So so see, what happens is uh, when we go to the developers and. What is your desire? What is your requirement? 
What are you planning? So based on these plannings and these requirements, we come up with inputs. So this is just a simple uh, logic technique for uh, We cannot just force our uh, you know, products on you. That this is, uh, this is we have and just design for it. What is your design? And based on your design, we will try to you know, give our product and give our product. So, uh, Ruchir, anything new uh, as far as the model technology? Okay. Uh, we have uh, we already launched this half cut uh, model. And uh, uh, definitely, when any new comes into the market, it takes uh, into uh, the RD and innovation cost. So, maybe uh, we are doing it. Maybe it is uh, commercially acceptable in a few months' time. Cell modules, and uh, we are working on the uh, bifacial as well as uh, transparent uh, transparent modules. So uh, very soon we will come up with these products. But obviously, if we speak about the mentality of the Indian industry, it uh, goes with the proven uh, product only, and obviously with uh, the low cost proven product. So that's why all these new uh, products it will attract some sort of cost as Ujir. Explained, and uh, it will take a little bit time to uh, to digest these project products and to have some sort of uh, history for these products. So we need to wait until then. I want to add something. Technology के अंदर बात करें तो इन वर्ल्ड में बहुत सारी चीजें जो ऐसे इन वर्ल्ड में प्रत्याशित हैं हम लोग ला रहे हैं वो AI के ऊपर काफी ज़्यादा काम कर रहे हैं। Because capacities are there, voltage is fixed. We can find that the uh, you know, industry is working on 15 and you know, 1000. So we are working on more efficiency and more like IV scanning, uh, you know, uh, better communication. So you, you know, you can uh, regulate the complete plant, the city uh, uh, in your office. So this is where we are working on. Uh, we are coming up with monthly APPT technology to you know, remove the dispatch process and everything. So this is where we are working. Uh, thank you. So, considering the timeline, we have only five minutes to speak about. So, if one by one we can uh, uh, say something uh, considering the topics we, which we cover. So, please, uh, 30 seconds for everyone. You see, uh, we have the papers and the papers So, what uh, Right now, we are facing with something that is uh, BIS, uh, BIS that is uh, mentioned. You know, there is no clarity over BIS and there is no proper labs for the uh, unit testing and everything. So, so many things are there. So, a lot problems are there. So, this is the first thing that we are going to do. So, we are coming up with new technologies. So, yeah, uh, we are looking forward to you know, bigger capacities in the future. Also, the generic words and the uh, uh, rooftop system as well. Uh, because we uh, really plan to launch our uh, 100 to work in one. So, that's a very big capacity in you know, a talk about the uh, rooftop market. So, yeah, things are changing and we are coming up with a little bit of time. So, uh, going uh, forward, Wadi uh, uh, definitely uh, looks uh, prominent and uh, we are seeing the growth of future. Industry. And therefore, we already had 24 capacity to 2 gigawatt. 
and we are very hopeful um, as, as of the government policies may be uh, coming up with a kind of a regulatory framework and uh, uh, which will be benefiting the Indian modular manufacturer or the Indian manufacturers particularly. So we think that um, good time to see. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so what I personally feel is that uh, you know there is a need for constant innovation. Uh, I was in Munich uh, this year for InterSolar and all I could see is lithium ion battery packs and different storage solutions. In fact, the minimum uh, life cycles of the battery packs were 20,000. There was a company from Israel who had 500 or 600 uh, installations already and they were giving a battery pack with lightweight technology and the warranty was for 40 years. So a single battery pack can work for 40 years. Uh, we, no one in India has really thought about it till now. So I think, uh, you know, what happened in UP that uh, overnight the policy was changed. Uh, there was no, uh, let me bring ease for industrial and commercial customers. In that case, we need to be prepared for such rules because I think so, such attempts have already been made in Punjab and Maharashtra to seize the regulatory policy. So I think we need to innovate our systems constantly, move towards more storage solutions, move towards more uh, optimum design so that our plants can last longer also. Thank you. Rajesh. As the heavens, we are planning uh, coming with on-grade inverters with full range. From next to financial year, we are planning with online inverters with high capacity also. Till date we have with 50 kilowatt and from next year we are planning for above 70 and 80 and 100 kilowatt. As far as we are also working on hybrid systems also with export and without export. Till date we have without export with range of 20 kilowatt and planning to extend. Our the Limrana we are planning with inverters manufacturing, canvas manufacturing. But this we have already street rates we are doing a lot of So we are planning the next financial year when hybrid cases are lithium ion batteries are with storage is planning here. And mini inverters, to, micro inverters, ke saath, jo planning is coming in the market. Mein, new technology. Hai. So, we are doing a lot of work. So, next financial year, we will be able to provide a lot of solar in our own solar. Hello. I would like to speak upon regulatory challenges. He is investing or and client is investing. At the end of the day, he wants that as soon as plant is, uh, like, plant is commissioned, he wants to utilize the power. But uh, we face some hurdles at uh, the end of regulatory challenges because see, we need to get the CIG approval done, we need to get the discount done, we need connectivity, synchronization, like so many, like uh, five, six in total departments are there. So, uh, in some states in Gujarat or in Rajasthan, some of the parts are online, like Kera registration is online now, CIG registration is online now. So, there are uh, like timelines, ke saath, jab project under, when our uh, project is under construction, things are, can be taken. But, but in some of the projects or in most of the projects, I would say that uh, files are physical. We have to submit uh, four or five files at different levels and get every file and every document stamped to from the end client, then the PC, then the developer. Like it, it doesn't make sense. In the time of if we are promoting digital India, we are promoting like uh, uh, see everything is digitalized now. Two three states have come up with the online system, online portal. So like a central system should be there. Also, uh, one of the main reasons is this, you have to go to DISCOM, you have to go to the uh, transmission company, you have to go to the CID office, you have to go to the state nodal agency. So uh, like for a solar project, uh, for a renewable project, a uh, single point window sh system should be there. It will help uh, to, uh, to restrict the, this uh, project completion time. In some of the cases, our project is ready, a completion time ex uh, is extended to 2-3 two, 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 months more. A client in a 500 kilowatt client maybe can absorb this much of shock, but see if, uh, if a uh, solar power of 10, 20 megawatt or 100 megawatt is like lying idle for 3 months of time, that is a huge loss. So that is one of the point that online other portal ho jai, or a single window uh, system ho jai. some of the states it is there, but it is like limited to mostly 5 states, 5 states. So that is, uh, that I would like to add. So, uh, Jada encourage, we, can, we would be able to encourage this as soon as the senior uh, day is declared, your plant will be operational. Or, or a time restriction should be there, be like, in the day. Now also it is there, but it is not followed. It should be strictly followed. That is, that is my view. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
so that customer is also well convinced it will be like uh, project will be delivered on time and I'll be able to utilize the utilization on full potential. Uh, so, like my company's uh, stand is that you know in India we do need very good quality solar. Uh, I feel that there are some trends of uh, this improving. So people are shifting towards first just looking at the price to actually you know finding out what the components are. You know, for example, it's not a panel anymore. It's now uh, the discussion moves from poly versus mono, monoperk, half cut. All these things are happening. So people are starting to look at uh, you know the technology. And moving away from price, uh, like specifically, like see, solar is not a product; it is a solution. It is different for each and every rooftop. So we need to start looking at things as uh, like a holistically how all the components work together. Uh, particularly, so like talking about us, like uh, like we are uh, reducing the cost of designing, which is again, you know, it's another cost by automating the process of. Uh, talking about like more technology that's out there, uh, there are monitoring companies who are again, you know, finding more business because people are asking for generation estimates or they ask EPC companies to wait. Uh, so current customers are talking about generation. So people are asking those questions. Uh, in terms of like more technology that I've seen, there's a app called uh, Solar Compare. Uh, again, a technology platform which again is bringing leads. Uh, to the uh, EPC companies now again educating those leads and then uh, now educating these leads properly so that they can take an informed decision later on. So like quality is coming, uh, you know, technology is the way to scale that and you know, as a country we should just keep it Thanks. Uh, thank you. So uh, to conclude, the uh, uh, government of India is uh, supporting one or the other ways uh, for the make in India process obviously there are hurdles so we need to work uh, from our side also technologically uh, speaking uh, if we speak about us customers they always pay more for the new technology for the higher efficiencies and it is exactly opposite in india we are we want everything of low cost irrespective whether it is old technology or whatever so we should have the acceptance to the new technology and uh, we are ready to, we should be ready to pay for that because there are advantages to it thank you sir for an amazing session on technology and the style others read about manufacturing inverters supply chain